Hi, my name is Dana. I've been subscribed to the channel since 2020, I'm pretty sure, uh, during the pandemic, where my lessons stopped. And so I try to look for some tips and how to better my playing. And yeah, that's the way that this channel has helped me. I'll be honest, I haven't watched a lot of the videos because sometimes I'm not that active uh, on YouTube. But yeah, what I've seen has been really helpful. Whenever I play, when I practice, I'm, I try to be more mindful now of what I do. You know, how I hold the bow, um, what I do with my left hand and all that stuff. So it has really helped me. I've tried improving. And yeah, also I have this close friend who wants to learn cello, but she can't afford lessons and she wanted me to teach her what I know, which isn't a lot. But with these videos, you know, I've been able to see different ways of teaching her, you know, and learn some tips that I can teach her that maybe I hadn't thought of and all that. So yeah, it's been really cool. Now, I fell in love with the cello when I was maybe 9 or 10 years old, I watched the movie August Rush and I instantly fell in love with it. Uh, yeah, I saw it and I said, I want to play the cello. I want to be like that. I want to be in an orchestra. I haven't been able to do that, but it's still a big dream of mine. And I was finally able to take lessons um, four years ago. Uh, we worked really hard. Well, my parents were really hard uh, to afford a cello for me. You know, it's kind of a cheap one, but well, cheap one. Uh, but it's been really good. I've enjoyed this journey. Uh, but yeah, now why do I want the electric cello? Well, one of the reasons why I also started studying the cello was because I wanted to play it for God. You know, I became a Christian and. I decided that whatever I do, whatever I play, I wanted um, to honor God. And so I'm part of the worship group at my church. I started as a singer, but recently we started including the cello. Uh, and I've been really happy with that, you know, but it hasn't been easy. Uh, we don't have a proper equipment. We can barely afford uh, what we have now, you know, and we don't have a proper mic. Sometimes it doesn't really pick up. Uh, the cello, all of the notes, uh, sometimes there's horrible feedback or it, get, it gets lost with all the other instruments, you know, the drums, the bass, the guitar. Uh, so it has been really hard with that for it to actually be heard. And also we play mostly modern stuff. And so, you know, it's been really hard because it doesn't really go with a lot of the styles, you know, this acoustic cello. Uh, sometimes it feels like it doesn't even go here, you know? It doesn't sound that great with this. And so I feel like with an electric cello, we'd be able to control the volume, we'd be able to properly equalize and, you know, to play with the effects and be able to actually play different styles of music and for it to sound good, for it to, you know, be in harmony with all the other instruments. I also think that with this electric cello, you know, maybe we'd be able to change people's mind. Uh, I feel like there's a lot of people that are stuck in this mindset that the cello, you can only play classical music with it. You know, there's only an acoustic cello. Some people don't even know what a cello is. And so <laughs> with this electric cello, I feel like people will be able to see that there's more to it. You know, you can play different styles of music. You can have an electric cello and change its sound. So maybe that will attract people to a cello more, you know, maybe they they will be inspired the way that I was, and that's what I want also, you know, that's why I want to do what I do, I want to play more so that people can be inspired the way that I was, and yeah, that's mainly the reasons why I want this cello, um, I know there's a lot of people that probably deserve it too, so if I don't get it, I understand, but I thank you so much for this opportunity. And I'll leave you with two different videos, something that I play in a recital and a Christmas song, as you asked. I didn't have a lot of time to learn it, so be patient. Uh, yeah, I know I still have a lot to learn, so these videos aren't magnificent, but it's honest work. I really loved it and I hope you enjoy it too.
Hello, my name is David. I am 36 years old. I live in San Luis Potosí, in Mexico. In return for the amazing for you already doing, I'm going to try to do this in English. I always aspire to extend the art through music videos and a good channel like yours, showing the versatility of these instruments in action with my own music and arrangements on the new classic app, pop, rock, epic and electronic music principally. Since I was a teenager, thanks to the universe, I discovered artists like Vanessa Mai, Bond, Wild, Apocalyptica with his innovative electric instruments and groundbreaking music. Even the arcade dance video games with their excellent classic remixes ignited such an intense emotion, I decided to dedicate myself to recreating melodies like this and make known in my country a broader vision of what can be the music. But every instrument is expensive for a teenager in those years, especially the cello. You know, at that age, I started collecting photos of electric bowed instruments, included one of my favorites, guess which one? The minimalist Steinberger designs. I even based my own design on one of these and I wanted to build it one day. So, first I met Mariachi, who lent me a violin and taught me the basics in exchange for helping them as a loader. Later, in a local music school, I was able to play and prosper for a few years in youth orchestras and string quartets, where I liked to play my partner's cellos. I didn't know much about, but playing a few notes on it was captivating. This helped me to make basic arrangements for quartets and learn something about editing and recording. I began to play in restaurants, coffee shops, festivals and to teach, occupations that I maintain to date. I love to accompany my students in their recitals as versatile as possible, learning some keyboards to accompany them, but usually with sound of strings. I love it. Also, to achieve a good instrumental sound, it's better to use a real instrument, not synthesized and my desire for a cello grew. Here comes a curious story. A few years ago I participated with some colleagues to start a music school project that raised some donated popular music instruments to be able to lend them to the students for a minimal fee to support a rented space. Classes started, in a few months we made an orchestra, when the school finally got some other less common instruments such as a trumpet, a saxophone and a cello, COVID arrived, and the music school project was dissolved due to how long the confinement lasted. Without a job I had to move with my family for a while, but there I saw two opportunities. The first, I decided to dedicate myself more fully to completing my home studio and music video project. The second, I asked them to give me my last payment with this. They were somewhat mistreated, but I have dedicated myself to restoring them. I began to learn saxophone, do some repertory, and now I have a saxophone student. Now it's the turn for this one. I started looking for books and tutorials. That's where your channel appeared. You helped me a lot to define my posture and technique. I already adapted the bridge, I changed the strings, and in the last few months it sounds much better. I plan to master it to offer quality shallow classes or accompany other instruments as our teachers that pass it on their knowledge to us, and I'm taking knowledge from you, but it shouldn't be to remain in me. I think spreading the knowledge and spreading what we make with it would be the best way to give something back to the world for everything that give us. You ask to say why I deserve that gift, but I think that one is nobody to say it. There may be more talented people and good people than one. But one thing is for sure, I definitely know what I will do with an NXT electric cello, oh, with that quality style and in that beautiful black. First of all, my modern music could have a modern sound and look. You can already see some videos that I have recorded in my Facebook profile. Electric instruments are better for effects. No microphone required either to amplify it or record it. I'm a night person. I could study even at midnight without waking anyone up. 
I could introduce it in my students' presentations and take it to the festivals to make them more dynamic. It always makes a bigger impact when you use an electric instrument. But it's not so convenient to take this other one out. Lastly, I have not seen any cello like that where I live. It would be spectacular to introduce it to the local scene. My god, man, it's a super instrument. We are talking about a net time barrier. Whoever earns it has to try to be the next Lindsay Stirling or the next piano guys, the next Tina Wu or better. I'm on the road to try it and it would be a great help. We need more music like that and we need more people like you guys. You restore the faith in humanity. I want to take advantage of this opportunity of communication to invite you to make a duet video. I would love to do a collaboration if you agree. And well, that's it. Thank you very much, Paul, Alicia and Jonathan. And have a very Merry Christmas. Hi, my name is Genevieve Gregory and I'm trying to enter the contest to win this electric cello. Um, I've been a subscriber, I think, maybe since October, so just a few months, but I started Suzuki classes with my children. I've wanted to learn a string instrument my whole life, and so I got to sign them up for these Suzuki classes, and I get to learn both violin and cello alongside them. It's the only way I could have this opportunity. Um, and I think having an electric cello would be really great because my the best time for me to practice is at night after they go to bed and this way I could practice without having um, to worry about waking them up or being too loud because I think I'm assuming I can use headphones or something so and also because my kids are learning we're all renting and um, I don't foresee being able to purchase a cello so being able to have the electric one to use and practice on when maybe I'm not able to continue renting um, so that we can, you know, rent the ones for my children first. So yeah, that's, I guess, it. Um, I've just, I only know the D major scale and twinkle, twinkle. So I have, um, we do, um, Twinkle, twinkle, but with a goody, goody, stop, stop. So just. <laughs> Christmas song I can try to play for you, but um, O Come All You Faithful, I'm still working on it. So let's see, I'm going to just do a portion of it. Um. <laughs> still working on it but thank you for this opportunity to try and show you um, 
what I'm working on. Bye. Hi, this is Jonathan Walls. This is my Christmas song for Alicia. Deck the Halls. <laughs> I started my cello journey in January of 2020 at the age of 47 and I looked and I actually subscribed to your channel Jonathan on January 17th which was I think about a week before I actually had my first lesson. Uh, this cello I have here is a rental and I would really like an electric cello uh, I'm supposed to play at my sister's wedding. I'm playing Across the Stars uh, with my brother. He's going to play guitar. And I've got to get this thing and five people and a dog to the Midwest from Atlanta. And I haven't figured out how in the world that's going to work. So it would be great if I had something that was small that I could pack and not have this thing in its enormous case. That would be wonderful. Also, I have a video I want to show you that uh, shows some kind of special effects I was trying to do with my son. I was playing with him. Uh, he likes to, he plays electric guitar. He's been playing for a long time. And uh, he likes to play along with lo-fi. And he was over at my house, he's in college, and uh, came by and was doing that. And so I got my cello and was playing with him and did some experimenting, and I think if I had an electric cello, I could do some really cool stuff with the effects, which would be great, because I'm a gear nerd. And getting back to my cello journey, where I am right now, I'm taking weekly lessons. Uh, I'm on page... What is that? Uh, well, I don't see the page numbers here. But I'm on, in Jonathan's scale book, I'm on this melodic scale page. I don't know if you can see that. And I'm on the B flat minor or B flat B flat melodic. I guess it's minor. B flat B flat minor melodic scale is what I'm working on in Jonathan's book. And then I also have some exercises from Fjord studies for the young cellist. I'm like on exercise doing some stuff on exercise three and four. Uh, in Essential Elements, book three, I'm on around uh, page 22. And then in Suzuki, book two, I'm on piece number 11. So I'm almost done with Suzuki book two. And that's me in the bottom left corner of the screen. About a year ago, I started playing with the church orchestra, and we just had our big Christmas concert, Sounds of the Season, which I thoroughly enjoyed. So that's been another big piece of my cello journey, playing with the orchestra, which has been a really good experience. So thank you, and Merry Christmas! Hi Jonathan, my name is Kevin Fix. My YouTube handle is Kevin Fix at Kevin Fix 4243. I've followed your channel since about the first or second month of the pandemic, April, May 2020. Um, I really, 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 really want an NS Design cello. I've actually for 20 years or so, been really wanting an electric cello. Um, I'm fairly involved in church and I want to uh, play traditional, modern, contemporary worship songs 
on electric cello and I want to record like just ethereal crazy sounding stuff with lots of reverb and delay and distortion and all kinds of fun stuff. Um, my current cello, the only cello I've ever owned, is an old Yamaha student rental cello that somebody I didn't notice when I bought it had split wide open and glued back with epoxy and it is uh, on its last legs. <laughs> Jonathan, I did download the uh, Paint It Black Wednesday edition sheet music, but uh, that's way beyond my capabilities currently. So next time. <laughs>
am submitting this video in the hopes that I can win. I know it's a long shot, um, but here we are. <laughs> um, Alicia, if I win, I will most certainly learn a Christmas song and play it for you. That has been one of the reasons why I've wanted to learn the cello was hearing the beautiful Christmas music played on the cello recently is so, yeah, it's just so beautiful. And it seems kind of silly, but I feel like kind of emotional when I hear it. And when I even just as I'm thinking about it, I'm so moved, which is kind of the beauty of music. Um, so this is my video submission. I'm not even sure. Um, yeah, I know it's a long shot, but I wanted to give it a shot because I would love to play this instrument. I would be truly honored. Thank you so much for your kindness and even willing to do this. Whoever gets it, it will be such a gift. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Hope to hear from you soon. Bye. Hi, Jonathan. My name is Caroline Swanson. Uh, but I also go as uh, Swanee Astrid as a pen name uh, and, and performance. I'm a poet and so I do spoken word and readings and do a lot of community organizing. Um, I found your YouTube channel on October 25th, 2021. So a little over a year now. Um, and I found it because I was looking just for just... Um, a really good person to take uh, cello lessons with on YouTube. Um, I, I was like watching some kind of like beginner tips from Tina Guo and she was talking about how she, you know, would work on her bowing for two hours a day. And I was just like, I have work to do. <laughs> um, so that's how I, I found your YouTube. And, um, you know, I will admit that, um, well, I'm not like just, much of a YouTube, you know, like person. Um, I'm not on YouTube a lot. Um, in a recreational sort of sense, I'm more like, okay, I need to find this thing and I go like an arrow. Um, at the time I was like, uh, I had just gotten some like, um, like a new bridge and just general tune up on this guy over here. Um, and, uh, you know, so I was like really ready to dive in. And then literally a couple days later, um, I had a, a death in the family that really shook me. Um, and just in general with the pandemic, just thinking about life and what I want to be doing and just my poetry and how I actually, I feel really desperate to bring music music, um, you know, that I might create in my poetry together. Like there's a particular piece that I really see as being an aria with a cello accompaniment that I would like to compose just as a tangible goal and am ambition to kind of help me like move forward in the process. But, um, you know, I, it had already been a long time, like about, it's been a long time since I've played maybe about 20 years. Um, and the story there <laughs> is, um, that, you know, like I, I started when I was young, I had parents who really valued music education and it was really the encouragement of my mother, you know, that she insisted that my sister and I play stringed instruments and she was just very supportive and would always take us to, you know, our competitions, um, our school orchestra, like kind of toured all over California doing that and performed at Disneyland a couple times. Um, but when she was uh, diagnosed with acute myelogenous leukemia, um, stage six, it's got about a 1% survival rate. Um, so she died when I was 16. And I wish I could say that music became my refuge, but I, I lost it completely. It just, you know, my heart was broken, not even just broken. It was just gone. Um, so how could I even play music? Grief is just such a, it can be a maker and an unmaker. And 
Um, so it took me a long, a long time. Um, it wasn't until college, um, that I could take private music lessons at my university. Um, and also just because the Bach cello suites had been such a lifeline for me, just listening to that. And it was just something that I could really, it could sustain me. Um, and I wanted to play that. I wanted to feel that in my body. I wanted to let it come through. Um, and so that was, you know, a great experience, but, um, it was something that I just still had a really hard time coming to. Um, and, uh, you know, part of it, part of it has been that just because of its, the cello's proximity into the human voice, I was, I've been kind of afraid to hear what would come out, you know? Um, but where I'm at now, um, is I've been learning to play the guitar which has been really great because it hasn't been the cello. And for that reason, it's been, I, I think I've been able to come to it. Um, and like my friend uh, who, who's who been teaching me is a really great teacher. And so I'm actually seeing like openings where I really, I'm like, oh, I can transliterate this or I can try this with the cello or I want to try this with the cello. Um, but there are just some like techniques that you can't really pull off on an acoustic. Um, and not to mention, you know, just like that this acoustic at this point just has some quirks and it's just like the, the C string just won't hold. Like the, the hole is like a little uh, like ovular, not like circle. So it's just like not holding properly, no matter how, like the tricks that I try or how much I try to tune it. Um, and like, I, I looked at this cello and, um, as much as I want an electric, you know, this particular cello, like I would not be able to afford now. Like, I don't think I even be able to budget for it. Um, you know, um, and aside from the fact that I'm moving to Iceland in August, you know, part of me feels like I need to be saving as much money as possible. So do I sell this one? Do I put that money towards an electric? Do I put it towards moving? Cause I can't take it with me. Like I just, um, I don't, you know, like I don't see myself bringing the acoustic with me. So I would either want to, you know, maybe find someone to lease it to, um, donate it to the high school that burned down last year. There was a really bad fire in my area. Um, or do I want to have like my, like, uh, like, do I want to, do I want to have a burial for it as part of my grief process with my mom? I didn't get to have that. Um, so there's just like a lot of questions there. Um, but you know, primarily I'm, I'm excited about getting an electric, which I will do at some point. Um, you know, if, like it's, if I win this, you know, don't need to worry about it, but I mean, it is a goal to play the electric cello. Um, mainly so that I can do like the cool rock and roll stuff, um, that you can't really do with an acoustic. Um, like not only do I want to compose, um, for, for spoken word, but I would love to start my own band and play bass cello and, um, whether it's like some kind of metal or riot girl, um, I'm also really interested in uh, Norse folk music um, that's having a really big sort of movement right now. And I'm really kind of curious to to see or hear what like the voice of a cello might be that like um, in, in that genre. No one's done that yet. So um, I, I have a lot of amazing people to collaborate with. I'm surrounded by artists and musicians, but um, I just I don't I can't. I can't just, the cello still feels like it's mine. Just cello, big capital C and more of like, you know, meta idea versus just this cello, which is really, I've had for so long and is so connected to um, this part of my history that you know, um, just grief is just like kind of insane, um, where it can keep us. And I just, I really want to be transformative. Um, and I want to be playful and I want to fall back in love with the cello. 
Um, like I said, you have really amazing candidates. I know you'll find the right person to win this. Um, I do hope it's me. Um, but, uh, you know, I fall short of some of what you were hoping to look for in the sense that, you know, I'm not necessarily an active subscriber and I can't play anything for you, um, with this cello the way it is. Um, but, uh, you know, just, I, I really appreciate that you put this call out there and that you care so much about getting people to play and to be enthusiastic. And I'm just, I'm glad I made this video because it kind of helped me to hear my own story a little better and, and, uh, and also hear what it is that I really want from music and from the cello and for my life. So, um, have a Merry Christmas. My, uh, YouTube channel, <laughs> before I forget that piece, um, is Swanee Astrid 1128. All right, that's, that's it. That's the rest of the message. Merry Christmas.